Hey, baby, you want a date? Hey, hot stuff, let's have a date. Come on, you want a date. Hey, you want a relationship? Let's have a relationship. <laughs> the ad should read, Colorist Wanted to assist nationally syndicated cartoonists. No, it's not Beetle Bailey. Mine's about a woman. No, that's Kathy. Mine's Caroline in the city. Uh, it's a witty, kind of carefree... <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, then we're even. I think your ads are stupid. <laughs> Thanks for answering my ad, Mr. Monroe. It's just Monroe. One word, like Picasso. <laughs> or Cher. <laughs> or Satan. <laughs> Start immediately. I've read every Caroline strip. I have every Caroline book, every Caroline calendar, every Caroline greeting card, especially the get well ones. <laughs> I, I do have a few more people to Oh, interview. but you don't understand, Caroline. I don't just want to work for you. I want to be you. No, you don't. Go oh, home. Oh. People even tell me I look like you. <laughs> hey, you. Oh, hey, Annie, I thought you were in Atlantic City. When'd you get back? Last night. Well, how'd you do? I got lucky. Hmm. See you, Lucky. <laughs> so what's going on with you, huh? Del and I had a big fight and broke up. Get out of here. How could you break up with Del? You have such great hair. <laughs> I know, Annie, but I wanted a little more. He could grow it. <laughs> I'm tired of ending up like this. I'm gonna take a break from guys. You know, I'm gonna hang out with my friends, go to the museums. Oh, God. Why is it every time you break up with a guy, I end up at a museum? <laughs> Who is it? Richard Korinsky. I'm here about the job. Come on up, second floor. Hey, listen, I gotta get ready for work, but I'll come over when I get home. You keep busy today. Don't remind me. I've got a one o'clock meeting with Dell at the card company. You know, I hate to say I told you so. Well, actually, I like saying that. <laughs> but I warned you not to get involved with guys you work with. I never do. Yeah, you never get involved with guys who have jobs. <laughs> I love being your friend. <laughs> Whatever happened to the good old days when you'd break up with a guy and he'd just disappear? You never had any good old days. All your relationships end badly. You say that like it's my fault. Well, the old lady in Murder, She Wrote, never thinks it's her fault, but every time she shows up at a dinner party, someone dies. <laughs> you know, and after a while, she's got to start thinking, hey. So, you're familiar with Caroline? I think my dentist has one of your calendars. <laughs> it's that stringy-haired girl who's always trying on bathing suits with her mom, right? <laughs> no, that's Kathy. <laughs> Boy, is my face red. You know, you seem more than qualified for this job. I am. Well, why do you want it? Money. <laughs> Seems I won't be able to make a living as a real artist until after I'm dead. <laughs> Bummer, huh? Totally. Oh, great. You have a cat. Oh, this is Salty. Actually, her real name is Salt. See, I had a Pepper, too, but Pepper ran away a year ago. He was a male, so... typical. <laughs> and since Salt is a weird name by itself... I... How anecdotal. <laughs> Can you please just, uh, make it disappear? Oh, I'm sorry, are you allergic? No, I just don't like cats, or dogs, or anything that runs up to you and pees on your feet when you come home. <laughs> well, then, we may have a problem, because I tend to get fairly excited when people come over. <laughs> Not even a smile. <laughs> well, um, you know, I have quite a few more people to interview, but I'll be in touch. No, you won't. Excuse me? I've had enough of these interviews to know the signs. Look, I just really appreciate if you tell me now I didn't get the job so I don't have to waste my time sitting by the phone, which they're about to turn off anyway. No, Mr. Krinsky, I will call. Okay, really? okay, fine. You can uh, reach me at my apartment for the next 24 hours, and after that, here's the number of the shelter. <laughs> But no pressure. <laughs> okay, Mr. Kerensky, maybe we can try this out. Okay, I don't come in before 10, I don't work weekends, and I need at least an hour and a half for lunch. Uh, it's about that time now. See you at 2. <laughs> it's nice working for you. <laughs> Hello, 
Mr. Cassidy. Hi, Dale. Hi. Hi, Dale. <laughs> so. So. Could this be any more awkward? Well, if we were both naked and my mom was here. <laughs> Look, we both knew this was going to be a little weird, but uh, we have work to do. Yeah, absolutely. We are professionals. Although I still love the sound of you unzipping. <laughs> Dale, come on. The cards? Yeah, right, right, right. Wow. <laughs> These are so, so, so... Why did we break up? Because in the wake of your two failed marriages, you're unable to commit to anything larger than a goldfish. That's because things that live on land usually divorce me. <laughs> come on, Dell. The cards. You know, I just want to let you know that uh, I really miss you, Duff. I miss you, too. I miss lying in bed, eating Cap'n Crunch, watching Garfield with you on Saturday mornings. Uh, Del, uh, we said we'd never talk about that outside my apartment. It's true, though. Okay, okay, Del, I've got this great idea. There's this whole untapped market out there just waiting for its own greeting card. Hi, Caroline. I thought you two broke up. I'm not even here. Okay, Del. You're a woman. Go at this. You're a woman, you're 50, and you just got divorced. Congratulations! You just took the men, open it, out of menopause! <laughs> okay, you hate it. Charlie, he hates it, because it's wrong. Okay, another on top market. Whole new idea. Okay. I just want to stand up and shout. Open it. Hey, world, I'm coming out! Good for gays, good for debutantes. Okay, you hate that, too. Let's start here. All right, get a grip. I'm with... Okay. It's hard to believe he's not family. Look, you're busy. Uh, tell me what you think of these cards. I'm going to go out and grab some sex. Lunch. Oh, God. You know, Caroline, just because we're not seeing each other anymore doesn't mean we can't see each other anymore. Um, yeah, maybe we could uh, catch a movie sometime. Yeah, when? Uh, how about tonight? Ooh, tonight's bad. I've got a, um, thing. A thing? Like elective surgery? No! <laughs> I've got, um, uh, uh... Oh! Del, I'm an adult. Look, if you have a date, you just come right out and tell me. Okay, yeah, I've got a date. A date? <laughs> hey, you're the one who said we both should, you know, get on with our lives. As we should. Um, as a matter of fact, to talk about coincidences, I just remembered. I have a date tonight, too. Really? That would have been embarrassing, huh? Me making a date with you and having this other big, hot date. So, where are you going? Home. No, on your big, hot date. Uh, Remo's? Oh, boy. What? Well, that's where Debbie and I are going. Del, that's our place. Oh, yeah, but it's okay for you to go there. Yeah, well, I discovered it. What is it, a continent? <laughs> Fine. My date and I will just order in. No. No, don't change your plans on my account. Look, Del, I'm not going to bring my date to the same restaurant you bring your date. That's just a little too Noel Coward for me. <laughs> Dr. Davenport? Uh, it's Caroline Duffy. You know, I think my cat might be sick. Nah, she doesn't have to come in. But maybe you and I could get together for dinner tonight to discuss it at Remo's at 8 o'clock? <laughs> you got plans? Oh, it's okay. Nah, she's a cat. They bounce back. <laughs> Oh, gee, Caroline, is something wrong? No, no, but it's so nice of you to ask. Should I stay, or do you two want to be alone? <laughs> oh, Richard, don't you like to chat? My old colorist, Jeannie, and I used to talk for hours. Some days we wouldn't get any work done at all, but then she moved to Chicago to marry Bill. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, but was listening to your personal problems part of the job description? Because I don't do well with personal problems. <laughs> I'll pay you an extra two bucks an hour. You were saying? <laughs> this is what happened. For eight months, I tell the guy to put the toilet seat down, he ignores me. Then I say it's time to move on, and bang, 86 hours later, he's got a date. A date? So I, of course, tell him I have a date, too. Lie, lie, lie. <laughs> so in four hours, I have to show up at the same restaurant to prove that he's real, which he isn't. And you really think your colorist moved away because she got married? <laughs> wow. 
Oh, conversation and a joke. You are full of surprises. Oops. Quit in time. Wait a second. You're not done. Well, I can finish these tomorrow. No, you can't. This is a business. We have a deadline. Here, I'll give you my key. Take them with you, and when you're finished tonight, bring them back. Well, I was planning to go to that festival of failed Swiss documentaries. <laughs> okay, okay. So much for my night of fun. Bad news, Caroline. What? I called that Peter guy we met at the party last month. No go. He didn't remember me. No, he remembered you. He just didn't like you. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, Annie, this is Richard. Richard, Annie. Oh, you must be the uptight cat hater. And you must be the slutty next-door neighbor from the comic strip. <laughs> yeah, but my breasts are bigger. Mm, if you say so. <laughs> Feisty. I like him. Uh, Richard, you know, you and I don't know each other that well, but is there any way you might consider... <laughs> Caroline, don't give up. This is New York City. You could toss one of these pears out the window and hit a terrific guy. Yeah, right. Hey! Let's see what we got. <laughs> Sorry, Father. <laughs> this is nuts. I, 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 I'm just going to call Dell and tell him it was all a big game and I am through playing games. Why call him? Why not just tell him at the office tomorrow? True, I could do that. And then see that little self-satisfied smirk that says, I've moved on and you haven't. <laughs> Go for the guy in the blue suit. Eh, he's a little thin. Hit him, it's 6.45, hit him! Yes! Okay, now, when he gets up... <laughs> I'm gonna go out with you tonight. Hey, up here! What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend and I are throwing fruit out the window in a somewhat misguided attempt to meet men. Oh, <laughs> well, that explains the ambrosia on the sidewalk. A little corny, but he's cute. So, uh, what's your name? Um, Juliet. Hi, Juliet, I'm Jeff. No, my name's not really Juliet, it's Caroline. Juliet's, you know, from Romeo and Juliet, there's a whole balcony scene and... No wonder you can't find a date. <laughs> Listen, Jeff, you probably think I'm totally crazy, but can I buy you dinner tonight? Well, I don't know. There was a woman on 7th Avenue who just threw a pork chop at me. <laughs> hey, I got a melon up here. Don't make me use it. <laughs> For two, Duffy. Tonight? Duffy. Duffy, Duffy, Duffy. I don't seem to have you down. I called two hours ago. Oh, no, I... Caro! Bellissima! Primo! Yeah. Ciao, Carolina. Mi dispiace. Che, che? Per questo sera non abbiamo... No, 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 I'm my favorite of the customers. Scusi. So, when I hear you make a reservation, after Senior Dell make a reservation, I know there must be some kind of mix-up. So I... <laughs> erased your name. But don't worry, I gave you and Senior Dell the best table in the house. The best. Well, uh, I hope you have two best tables, because Senior Dell and I aren't here together. We broke up. <gasps> <sighs> Hey, really? I never like Senor Death. <laughs> He's a big, phony bastard. <laughs> Come, Poverina, I've got for you a nice, quiet table out of the way. Come on. I didn't throw 15 pounds of fruit out the window for a quiet table. I want that one. I got a big, hot date. <laughs> Blonde, 22, and her dress fits like a sausage casing. Wine list. Carolina, this is too painful. I must tell him to go. No, 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 Remo. Remo, no. No. Senor Dell. Hey, Remo. So good to see you again. <laughs> Come, I have reserved for you the best table. 
The best. Hey, big shot. Money is the same. Money is the same. Money is the same. Hey, Duff. Oh, Bill, is that you? Debbie, this is my friend Caroline Duffy, and her date. Not much of a talker. <laughs> hey, he'll be here. He's just a little late. So, Dell tells me you draw that little Caroline cartoon. Yeah, you read my comic strip. No, I stopped reading the funnies when I was a child. Oh, so you must be a week behind. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> These knives, the dirty. Just let me get them off. <laughs> Beast. Hello, Beast. <laughs> oh, right. That'll scare the burglars. <laughs> Oi. All right. Don't touch these. Back. Hi, it's Caroline. You know the drill. Caroline, this is Jeff Gall from the street. Listen, I hope you check your messages because something came up. I tried reaching you at Remos, but... Jeffrey, who are you on the phone with? Sweetheart, I'm calling for the weather report. Right. It better not be one of your tramps. Susan, just hang up. <laughs> Gotta go. Uh, maybe we can do this some other time. I'll call you. Oh, this is much better than a Swiss documentary. <laughs> Just keep walking. Oh, Caroline. Richard, what are you doing here? Well, I called, but there's no reservation under your name. Jeff of the street is not coming. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, I was at your place when he called your answering machine. Oh, God, what lame excuse did he use? Well, I'm sure it was going to be a good one, but his wife interrupted. <laughs> his wife? He's married? If it means anything to you, I don't think it'll last. <laughs> This is just perfect. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You're, you're not gonna cry, are you? Now, I don't deal too well with crying. Oh, Richard, you don't deal too well with daylight savings time. <laughs> yeah, well, um, enjoy your meal, huh? So, uh, hi, how are you? Del Cassidy. Oh, God. Uh, Richard Karinsky. Richard is my... Caroline's guy. <laughs> Sorry, babe, I uh, would have been here sooner, but uh, uh, I was in surgery all day. Yeah. That transplant took a lot longer than I thought. So, uh, what's good after this afternoon? Anything but liver. So, uh, hey, dull. Dull. Whatever, join us. No, I've got to get back to my date. The sooner we eat, the sooner we can go back to my place. Oh, well, you won't be the only ones racing through your meal. Well, carefully, you don't choke. Won't matter. I'm with the doctor. <laughs> wow, Richard. That was so sweet. Don't thank me. I'm still on the clock. <laughs> and I'm looking at lobster. <laughs> like my paintings in Rome either, but, uh, well, it was just as well because after Julia left me, I couldn't paint anymore. She broke your heart? No, she broke my paintbrush. <laughs> of course she broke my heart. <laughs> I mean, I was in love with her, you know? Sincere amore. The kind of love you never have to question. Wow. Well, um, Richard, uh, th <laughs> thanks for being there for me tonight. Yeah, well, uh, Thanks for telling me what sweetbreads were before I ordered them. <laughs> oh, you're here. Um, I called. There was no answer, so I thought you two might have been walking the cat. <laughs> Interesting euphemism. <laughs> but since you're not... Walking the cat? Yeah. I thought I'd drop off your key. Just, you know, slip it under your door. I've got a copy of her key. Huh. Me too. <laughs> You're just loving this, aren't you? You know, this is a big mistake. I'm just gonna get No, 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 no. Look, you, you stay. I'm just, uh, just on my way. Early surgery tomorrow. What hospital do you work out of, anyway? 
Actually, I've got my own place. <laughs> so, have you known him long? Look, Dale, um, I, I can't do this anymore. Richard's not a doctor, and he's not my date. He's my new assistant, and I'll probably have to pay him overtime for tonight. Oh. Yeah, well, look, you won. You moved on, and I have. Hey, I don't want to move on. Aren't you wondering why I dropped Debbie off early? It's a school night. <laughs> I guess I deserve that. No, you don't. Listen, since you're already here, uh, why don't I give you these Christmas card sketches? They'll save me the trip uptown in the morning. These are just some uh, rough ideas that I had. Okay. If you can tell me that meant nothing to you, I will walk out that door and I will never bring it up again. I can't say that. Yes! But, Del... Damn. I, I want something more. I, I want sinceria more. A, a love you never have to question. You don't think I can give you that? You're already questioning it. Okay, so uh, what are we supposed to do here, Caroline? See each other at work? Nod at each other? Pretend there's nothing there? But we both know there is. Well, we could try to move past this and be friends. <laughs> Remember, I have two ex-wives. I don't know how to be friends. Well, I could teach you. Friends? Friends.